Let's do this. Let's do this. Hello, my name is Drake and this is Touching the Edge. And I'm thinking, let's do this. Let's follow this relationship to growing, to having an intentional relationship to improving, to experiencing more joy in our lives in this first 40 days of the year. Remember, if you can be consistent in your intention within 40 days consistently, you can shift your relationship to the world. If you can do it for four months, you can make that shift a permanent part of your habitual being. So let's activate this. Let's understand why even do it. Why should we intend to become our best self? I want to say to you that your ability to become your best self is your ability to access responsibility. Now, I'm not saying responsibility in that heavy sense of duty. I'm talking about in that sense of the ability to respond. So you become the best you can be. So you have the ability to respond to all the elements that are so changing so often. We have the opportunity to realize that this period of our life, if we become responsible, if we develop the ability to respond, could be the very best period of our lives. It could be the period that we really truly find ourselves and find what our mission is. So be specific. Write down things that you would like to accomplish in this first 48 days. Do it with kindness. Sit down and write about where you are and where with kindness, not trying to change too fast, you would like to be at the end of 40 days. And then project even further beyond that. If you can develop the patterns and make them consistent for four months, you can shift all kinds of emotional states. That's what I did when I was dealing with incredible panic attacks. I developed this relationship to being committed for four months. And when I was committed for four months, I found those panic attacks shifted. I, I still deal with anxiety upon occasion, but it's not like it was then. When you are consistent for four months, you begin to trust yourself. And when you begin to trust yourself, you realize that you exist for your mission and not the fluctuations of your emotions. So activate your relationship to practice in this next four months. Let us know what you're doing. Be very, very specific. Remember, it's important to sit down with a pen and paper and write down what your intent is and what you would like to accomplish it. Condense it down to a paragraph and repeat that paragraph to you at least once a day, out loud, with confidence. If you do that, you'll make progress. When you are relaxed and you realize you're relaxed, you become more relaxed. When you realize you're making even small progress, that progress expands. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for being part of a circle that's committed to being positive no matter what. No matter what is going on in the world, commit to becoming a positive, joyful you. I'm going to ring the bell and I'm going to ask you to listen carefully. Here we go. As you move towards your best self, which truly is your authentic self, you also move towards your joyful self, and you become more resilient. I thank you for your time. Namaste. Take care.